Welcome to SysEng Quick. My name is John, and today I'll show you how to create custom Ansible collections. Ansible collections are logical groupings of Ansible files, such as playbooks. They include many other things that we haven't covered yet. To create a collection, we'll use the Ansible Galaxy command. Collections are namespaced to prevent name collisions, so you'll need to pick a namespace and a name for your collection. The namespace groups your collections, and the name identifies the particular collection within the namespace. Namespaces often reflect your organization's name or a username. If you want to publish your collection to Ansible Galaxy, you'll need to register your namespace. But that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. For now, anything that meets Python identifier naming rules will work. In other words, avoid dashes, and stick to alphanumeric characters and underscores. I'm going to use the namespace sysengquick, and I'll call this first collection tutorial. So, on the CLI, I'm going to run ansible-galaxy collection init, let's make sure I spell collection right, dash dash init dash path collections plural slash ansible underscore collections space, the name of my namespace, so that's sysengquick dot tutorial, the name of my collection. If I type that command correctly, we should have some new files over here. Let's see if we do. If we open our file explorer, we'll see it made us a directory inside a very long path. Collections, Ansible collections, sysengquick tutorial. There's a reason for this directory structure, but we're just going to leave it as it is for now. So, what did it make inside here? Well, it's got a couple of skeleton readmes that aren't super important. The most important files are these two YAML files, galaxy.yaml, which describes our collection, and runtime.yaml. Let's start with galaxy.yaml. Once we open this, Ansible Lint is going to lint this and tell us there are a few problems. So let's open the Problems tab and see what it wants. Well, it says there's no change log. We need to add one of those. Galaxy.yaml must have one of these required tags. We don't have some indentation properly. So we can probably fix a couple of these things by simply formatting the file. I've got format on save turned on in VS Code, so we can save this and Prettier will fix some of our problems. Okay, at the top we've got the namespace. That's already filled out from our Ansible Galaxy Collection init command. Same thing with the name. It defaults to version 1.0.0. That's fine. Your version is whatever you want it to be, so long as it works with Semver. Uh, the readme, it did make a skeleton readme. Um, we could change our name. We don't really need to fill out most of this information unless we're going to publish this collection, but let's go ahead and do that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and change my name from the generic one, and I'll add my email address. Okay. Uh, description, I'll just say Ansible Tutorial Collection. Okay, the license, I'm actually using GPL 3.0 or later. We don't need a license file if we're specifying the license over here. Uh, this is where it's complaining about these tags. And again, they're only important if you want to publish them, but I like to clean up the errors in Ansible Lint, so we'll go ahead and fill out just Linux for now. Dependencies, we'll probably come back to those later, but we don't need anything right now because our collection currently has no dependencies. We can fill out our repository and a few of these links here, so why don't we go ahead and do that. So here's my repository. Uh, that's basically where my documentation is as well, and same thing for the home page. As far as issues, it's everything like that, and then issues at the end. And that's basically the end of the galaxy.yaml file. So if we added a changelog, it would be happy. So let's go ahead and make one of those. We'll add a file called changelog.md. Needs to be all capitals on changelog, and it must be in markdown. 
So I'm going to put change log over here. And I like to go with the version and what's the date? Uh, well, we'll be releasing this until May, but it is actually the 29th today, I think. Initial collection release. There we go. We now have a change log. And if I go back in here and save this, we should go ahead and clean up all of our errors. There we go. We have made a collection. Collection of nothing, but it is a collection. Let's check out the runtime.yaml file. It is probably also going to have a small problem in that we don't have anything over here. The only thing we need to specify is the Ansible version. So this is a minimum version so that Ansible Galaxy knows which versions of Ansible are compatible with this collection. Well, honestly, I have no idea, but we're just going to say greater than or equal to 2.16.0 because that's a collection I'm sure would be compatible since we're using that right now. As long as we add that, there's nothing else needs to be added in this file to make the linter happy. So, what can we do with this collection? Well, I told you it could contain playbooks. I don't see any playbooks folder, so where do we put them? Well, we put them in a playbooks folder. It just doesn't make that for us by default. Let's go ahead and make one of those. We'll add a folder called playbooks, and then let's move one of our playbooks over here. Let's take the ping playbook and we'll move that into our collection. There we go. We'll go ahead and say move on that. And let's see if we can run that. If we do Ansible playbook and we do collections, Ansible collection, sysenge quick, tutorial, playbooks, ping.yaml, does this still work? Yeah, it does. But surely that's not how we specify a collection. And no, it's not. The collection is namespaced, so we can use the name. So let's go ahead and change this. Rather than this long path, what we want to do is replace that with our namespace, sysenge quick dot tutorial, the name of our collection, dot the name of our playbook. In this case is ping. Let's go ahead and run that. And uh, it can't find it. The problem is that Ansible is looking in the wrong place for our collection. We need to tell it where to find our collection or move our collection. So let's see where it thinks the path is. We can do ansible config dump and grep for collections path. And you can see it's checking these two directories. That's not one of the ones where we have our stuff. So there are a few ways we could fix this. Let's try making an environment variable. If we do export ansible underscore collections underscore path equals dot slash collections, and then we run our playbook again, yeah, now it works. However, I don't really want to set an environment variable every time I want to use this collection. Is there something easier? Well, we could symlink our collection into this directory, and I often do that. Let's see how that would work. Let's open up a new terminal and go to the home directory, and let's make dir p dot ansible slash collections slash ansible underscore collections, and then let's go in there, and let's do a symlink from workspaces Ansible collections, Ansible collections, sysenge quick to here. We'll go back to our other terminal and we'll go ahead and let's unset that Ansible collections path directory we set earlier. And now if we run the playbook, does it still work? Yeah, everything still works. But what if we don't want to make that symlink? Is there a third option? Yeah, let's go ahead and remove that. And we can see that it doesn't work anymore. We could add this path to our configuration file instead. Let's try that. If we go make a file called ansible.config, 
we can add something that will allow us to have this environment variable automatically. So we'll put this in the default section and the variable is called collections underscore path. It's usually the exact same thing as the environment variable without the Ansible part and it's lowercase in here rather than uppercase. And then we're going to keep the default path, which is tilde slash dot Ansible slash collections, because we may want to install other collections in there at a later time. And then we'll put a colon to add our path, which is dot slash collections. Make sure I spell that right. And let's go save that. Now let's see if it works. If I try run the playbook again, yeah, that does work. So there you go. You have a few options for specifying your collections path. Let's go ahead and move our other playbooks into our collection. I'll just drag the neofetch and facts.yaml files and drag them into the playbooks folder. And let's see if we can still run one of those. From the command line, I'll do ansible playbook i inventory ath.yaml. And this time we'll do sysenge quick dot dot neofetch. And let's see if this still works. Yeah, it still seems to be fine. There is another property we can add to our configuration file to make this a bit easier. If you're tired of specifying the inventory, let's just add it here. We'll add another key, inventory equals, and let's copy this inventory and put it right up there. And now I can run this command again, but without specifying the inventory. That's a lot nicer. And that covers creating a custom Ansible collection, or at least the basics of one. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please go hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. I'll see you next time when we'll maybe fill out more of this collection. Thanks for watching. See you then.